I want to take you through a bit of a restorative shoulder sequence. It's really good if you're super active or maybe you're aging a little bit. More white hair, my goatee every day. Or you just want to stay on the front edge of injury. This is a sequence in a series that uh, Dr. Yogi, there's a few of them out there, developed. And I'd like this light too, please, if you turn that on. Thank you. And here's what I'd like you to do while you do these movements. I'm going to take you through them. I'll coach you through them. I'd like you to cultivate a deep, even breath. Big breath in. Nothing forced or rushed, just big. Taking in a greater volume of oxygen than your standard breath does. Nothing fast like when we do our Wim Hof Pranayama, nothing like that. And so you might hear me as we go breathe, to say, I'll say, breathe a little deeper. Breathe a little steadier or something like that, just to remind you, because it's you know how it is, Bridget, right? If I start drumming, I can't talk, or it's harder anyways to paint and talk on the phone at the same time. I get it. It's difficult. As soon as we add a layer of complication, you know, it kind of all goes to hell, doesn't it? And so you might just hear me remind you, breathe deep as we go. Arms out straight. You might make some incidental loving contact with your neighbor. It's fun when everyone shifts the same direction, then you're still just bashing each other. Arms out straight. Now, see, you stopped breathing already. <clears throat> or at least that big deep breath, didn't you? Keep that going as you start some forward circles. Moving from the belly of the shoulder, way down in here, it's possible. Go slower. Gentle flow. Yeah, yeah. The mustache is fierce. The movement doesn't have to be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to show you Nico's mustache there at home for the camera after this. <laughs> Just so you get the reference. Deep breathing, though. You already lost it, right? You already lost it. It's okay. Just bring it back. As you reverse the motion, go backwards. It's not a big thing. You're not a baseball player warming up, although this would be good if you're a baseball player warming up. If you're a young person, drop this into your practice a few times a week. You take good care of yourself. Breathe in and out. Big breaths. That's it. A lot of oxygen. Yeah, it's the first medical intervention for almost every condition. And now relax the arms. That's already a lot of work, isn't it? Straight arms. Pull the backs of the hand up towards the face. Then sweep the arms back so that you hyperextend gently in the front aspect of the shoulder. Do you feel that? If you feel it, go, hmm. Yeah. All right, now breathe deep, yeah, as you sweep up and do a wide V. And then exhale, hyperextend back. Just gentle, just an inch past your range of motion. Good. Nice straight arms. Really flex the wrist. You can try flexing the hands in the opposite direction. See how that feels. You can try smiling, Lance. It's Sunday morning. You're okay. Yeah, bud. That's it. Breathing, smiling. That's why we bring the Frenchies. You sort of miss that aspect of the practice if you're on the internet practicing with us. But come into the studio sometime. See Gonzo. And Rosie, keep that going. Incidentally, we have some Gonzo hoodies for sale out front. We have a saying that if you don't develop a fashion line for your dog, you don't love them enough. That's a joke. It's just kidding. Yeah, keep it going. A few more times. Breathe in and out. <laughs> That'd be an impossible standard <laughs> to keep. <laughs> be a lot of unpurchased sweatshirts in the world out there. <laughs> Good. Then relax. Keep breathing deep. <clears throat> relax. Some of you aren't relaxing. Relax. Yeah, Jackie's got it. But keep breathing deep. See, you stopped already. Not forceful, just even, taking a lot of oxygen. I call this one robot neck rolls. So you kind of roll through like the robot and then roll your neck with your arm. Feel that? That's kind of cool. Yeah. You can twist the wrist back in the other direction. Just try moving it. The same time, see, this got really complicated. You lost that deep breath, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, so you're stretching out the neck, the shoulder, the whole chain of movement as you go. And flow it. Ripple it. Not rigid like a robot, you know, more like the AI robots we have now. They, they would do, the, what does the robot even look like in today's contemporary context? It just looks like dancing. This is the new robot. Yeah, keep breathing. You lost it. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. <laughs> good and then relax release it gets hard fast up there if you're really moving from inside the shoulder try not to move from the bicep that's really easy to do 
This time we're going to pull the hands back, and then we're going to reach way out, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you do, and then come across two fingers of pressure. Bob Ross would say, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Gently guides the arm across. Big sweep opens up, and then come across the other side. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Open up. I've been watching entirely too much Bob Ross lately. Other side. Yeah, no such thing as that, is there? I'm still trying to master that Bob Ross self-talk, though. That's a hard one. I paint, and right before I put a stroke on the canvas, I go, this is going to be fucked, right? <laughs> i got to stop and go, no, 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 it's okay. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. A couple more, just like that. Keep breathing. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> really sweep the arm. Really sweep it across. Good. Good. And then relax. Relax. Put your hands behind your head. A couple of you heard that a few times too many in your life. Breathe in. Elbows together. Breathe out. Big breath. As you inhale, open up. And you'll feel this little cow in the belly happen. Exhale. And a little cat happens in the spine, doesn't it? Inhale. And exhale. Good, Bridget. Master in that smile. 16 seconds in a forced grin makes you happier. They proved it. They proved it. A couple more, just like that. Breathing. And out. That's it. Mm-hmm. A couple more. You're doing great. Yep. Breathe. Smile. I'm glad you made it today. Megan usually teaches this class. Come see her sometime. She gets the day off today. <clears throat> Arms up to cactus. And then rotating down, keeping the upper arms parallel to the earth as you actually rotate and open. Notice what happened. Simple transition. Where'd the breathing go? Slow down, Lance. Gentle flow. Beard looks great. Gentle flow today. You look like a lumberjack. No need to act like one. <laughs> yeah, breathing. If it helps to think of inhaling as you sweep up, exhaling as you come down. Two, three. <clears throat> Here's two. Good, Kai. Here's one. Now hands behind the back. That's the step that comes after hands behind the head. And you're going to interlace the fingers. Keep the heels of the hand together. That's really important. As you bring the hands behind the back, Keep the heels of the hands together, and as you breathe, just gently move that fist away from the lower back. Breathing as you do. Now feel this, because this is our tendency whenever a teacher says hands behind the back is we want to crank this way. Press the fist into the back. And peel the shoulders away from the chest. Relax. And then press the fist. Peel the shoulders away from one another. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Gentle. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Just drop it in. I have a tendency to combine my Bob Ross voice with the Happy Gilmore. Uh, Chubbs, his golf coach voice. Just drop it in. Just tap it in. Yeah. <laughs> Good, and now keep the fist, same fist. Now it's going to go straight down, straight down. Still breathing, and here's a good time to lean the neck away. One direction, as you relax, press the fist down, lean the other direction. Just moving slow, gentle. Sunday morning, Marco's here, woo! This guy ain't seen this side at 10 a.m. in 10 years, I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> a couple more, and we're there. Relax, release. We're going to sweep the arm up, capture it with the opposite hand, and just, again, that same two fingers of pressure. As you sweep up, the same arm comes on top for eagle, or your version of eagle could look like this, just fine. Sweep up, capture the opposite hand, Gentle lean. You feeling the lat a little bit? Let that happen. Yeah. Sweep under. Now the left arm's on top for eagle. Excellent. Yeah. I hear someone breathing out there. You don't necessarily have to breathe loud in yoga. Just breathe deep. Intentional. 
if that little frictive quality doesn't serve you, don't make that your priority. That's sort of a shortcut cue that yoga teachers use to breathe deep. That's really what we want you to do. Yeah, a couple more. Doing good, Seth. I see you back there, buddy. Yeah. And feel free to customize. If you don't like the color I'm putting in my mountain, then put a different color in that rascal on your painting, yeah? You can move the elbows up and eagle. You can pull over a little bit. It's your body. Explore it. Feel empowered to explore it. They never tell you that in middle school. <sighs> That's it. Yoga should make you happy. <laughs> if it doesn't make you happy, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> All right, we call this the scratch test. So this is where we, if you're me, try our best to connect the fingers. Then swoop around and do your best on this side. No need to force a connection. Just do your best. Yeah. Yeah, let that yawn out. Let that rascal. That rascal lives right there in your mouth. Let him out. <laughs> Bob Ross says, look at all those pine trees. They live right in your fan brush. <laughs> all you got to do is let them out. I'm growing the sides of my hair out, some of you have noticed. It would be weird looking videos for a while. <laughs> Final shoulder exercise. You feeling this? You feeling good in your shoulders? Go, mm, yeah, good. Final one is the old martial arts teacup test. So you hold your hand out nice and flat and act like you got a teacup in there. And now you're going to bring that teacup without spilling it. Back, spin it, bring it out around and then you got to get it around the bun that was an inconvenient time to put my hair up and then out yeah yeah but you're just doing this joy you're just up here with the teacup you got to keep it really tight keep it as keep it as tight as you can without any pain little pops can be productive it's breaking up scar tissue as long as it's not creating pain at the same time yeah and if you're if you're already if you hurt yourself that was you not me because we hadn't done shit yet Lance. So if you're, Lance is like, oh man, how'd I hurt my wrist? Well, ask yourself that. Sometimes when I paint, man, I grip that paintbrush like I'm trying to kill it. That's not how Bob Ross handles it. He's gentle with it. He wants it to last. Let's do the other side. I want your shoulders to last a long time in this practice. You come take an O1, I've counted. Ooh, did you hear that? But it didn't hurt, so that's, that must be good. <laughs> do whatever makes you happy as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. That's what Bob Ross says. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, one side's likely significantly different than the other. If you come in and take an Outlaw 1 class, we've counted them. There's 55 push-ups in class at a minimum. Yeah, so that's sister. If you take her class, it's 105. <laughs> good. Now, once you mastered that, add a little bit of complexity. Are you still breathing deep? Both of them. Two cups of tea. Oh, my God. You have a guest now. <clears throat> you have a guest for tea. Yeah, and once you master that, reverse it. Reverse it. What? Whoa, it's okay, you're doing it. That's pretty good, that's, that's pretty close. You're doing your version of it. That's what I do when I do a Bob Ross oil painting. I got no fucking idea what I'm doing, I just do my version of it. It's great. It's fantastic. Now, if we put a sword in your hand, you'd be a complete fighter. Yeah, son. Wonderful. Give someone, a, give someone a high five. That was a lot of fun, huh?